We're joined by physician nutrition specialist, Dr. Melina Jampolis, as well as Terry. And I have to say, I met Terry during the break, and you were just a lovely woman. Yeah. Thank and you. So I'm really happy to talk about this. And Dr. Jampolis, I know you've already met with Terry, and you said in the tape piece, I can't understand why something so simple like this can cause so many problems. But, it, but it's, it's not something so simple in your case. It's true. But you beat cancer. I beat mm. cancer 17 yeah. years. Yeah. Which is impressive in and of itself. But let's talk about this, Dr. Impulse, because how debilitating it can be when you don't have proper bowel functioning. Absolutely. And I mean, you know, the reality is, is you're never gonna be 100% cured. I, I wish I could do that for you, but um, you had your entire colon removed. Yes. And the colon has some important jobs, obviously, <laughs> yeah. as you can, Why? and not having it around really can be problematic. And one of the biggest things is that it absorbs a lot of the liquid that you both consume and that your body produces. So I think that's one of the major problems, you know, with the, excuse me, chronic diarrhea. I guess it's the yeah. doctor, so we can you know, talk yes. freely it's about our like, bowels. Yeah. It's a technical term. Uh, <laughs> but, but so, and because because the small intestine is now being used for a different purpose, yes. you're not absorbing B12 as much. And I know the interesting thing we talked about, you used to be on B12 injections, but you actually haven't taken them for several years. Yeah, it's been a while. So, um, yeah, so that's something that I need to, I think we need to address just from the overall health status, just basic colon 101. Tell us a little bit, what's a typical eating day for you? Because it is complicated. I eat off the, ch the children's menu. I can't eat a lot at one time because it makes me go a lot. And then I'll have to get up in the middle of a meal, which is embarrassing because I've been accused of being bulimic. You know, why are you getting up, you've only eaten five bites and bam, you're off to the restroom. You come back, you eat a few more bites and bam, you're off again. Right. It's, you know, I, that's all I can do at one given time. Um, another one of my concerns is drinking. Yeah. I was told that I'm supposed to drink tw a minimum of 20 glasses of water a day. I probably drink on the average of six to 10, 32 ounce glasses of tea a day. Yeah. Because I can't stand water. Um, but tea my- Tea with caffeine. Tea Sorry. with caffeine, unfortunately. Okay. Right, yeah, so that's one of the things that we, we talked a little bit about yesterday, and I think we definitely need to address that. You definitely need to keep your fluid status up because you're losing so much more than the average person, but you're probably having double what you need, and the caffeine, even though it's yeah. diluted, because she does- Very <laughs> potent GI stimulant. Very potent oh, okay. Even for someone with a normal gastrointestinal tract, right. normal anatomy, caffeine, you drink it, and a lot of people are running right to the bathroom. And is the lesson for everyone here that even if you have your colon, yep. the foods you're eating play a major role in Absolutely. terms of how your GI, um, your GI tract functions. So there are some things you can work with right. here to hopefully improve this, because at the end of the day, for you, this really is about your impending vows, right? Well, exactly. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to be up there thinking, okay, um, I don't want to have to be releasing my bowels when I want to say my vowels. <laughs> what I'm going to suggest you do as well so that I can really help you, because we're going to see each other after this. <laughs> yeah. I will help you up until your wedding, but whatever it oh, takes. And I think I if anyone... Times, but we're going to do more. And I want anyone watching to think about this because Dr. Jan Polis is a nutrition specialist. If you are dealing with bowel issues, whether it's constipation, chronic diarrhea, obviously you want to be evaluated, but it is amazing we talk about food being your medicine. It can Absolutely. be your medicine for your GI tract as well. Right. You have unique circumstances, but I know, like you said at the end, this is about maybe working with Dr. Jampolis, getting to the point where you can get out there and not worry about your bowels. Yeah. When you're Focus on one thing, and that is your bowels, like you said. <laughs> and, and hopefully we can, we can see some improvement. Yeah. Terry, thank you for sharing that story. Yeah. Thank you.